Hello, Aya Farrell. It's time to announce the Air Force Research Lab Fellows for 2020. This honor is a big one. It's been around since 1987 to honor our scientists and engineers for their past and present accomplishments for the, to support and encourage their continued growth and continued uh, development in their fields. They have demonstrated amazing productivity, creativity, and depth of insight in their respective fields. And I really look forward to telling you about this year's winners. The Air Force Research Lab Fellows is an honor in recognition of their world-class research, insight, and leadership of science and technology development over their entire careers. So it's the culmination of years and years of work, and I really look forward to telling you about them today. I do want to thank the Research Advisory Council for reviewing this year's competitors. As you know, there were so many great people nominated, doing so many great things. The competition was truly stiff. But today, it is my honor to announce the ones that were selected. Dr. Fariba Faru, Air Force Office of Scientific Research. Dr. Ali Sayer from the Air Force Office of Scientific Research. Dr. Robert Thomas from the 7-Eleventh Human Performance Wing. Ms. Rebecca Mills from the Information Directorate at Rome, New York. Dr. Mark Gruber from the Aerospace Systems Directorate. Dr. Khan Pham from the Space Vehicles Directorate. Dr. Vasu Chakravarthi from the Sensors Directorate. Dr. Michael Starks, Space Vehicles Directorate. Mr. Robert Ware from the Materials and Manufacturing Directorate. Dr. Michael Lindsay, Munitions Directorate. Dr. Eric Lindgren, Materials and Manufacturing Directorate. Today, as the United States is once again under strong pressure to maintain technological superiority in the face of a rising peer adversary, the continued recognition of our Air Force Research Lab fellows is as important now as it was in 1987. Please join me in congratulating these men and women for their exceptional intellect, determination, and vision in performing their duties and doing this revolutionary science and technology. Thanks as well to the supervisors and teams who have supported these individuals because as we know, it takes all of us to make this go forward. Thank you and congrats again to all of our Area 4L fellows.